there! Welcome back to my channel. You may call me Miss Introvert, and today we will be looking at the writing routine that I use while I'm in school. I'll make another video on how I write when I'm not in school during summer vacation, which has just started for me. Well, by the time I'm filming this, it's not. I'm still during fun. I'm, I'm still, I can't even say it. It's so, it's, it's so, it's so, it's so nerve wracking. I can't even talk sometimes, you know? My brain has been overused, so the words aren't coming out the right way. They're just all fumbled, and my hands will stop making this expression to you because I am now a non-functional human being. Thanks for studying. Hopefully I get a good grade, you know? <laughs> but for now, anyone who is still in school or is doing summer school this summer, or if it's like, 30 years later and we're still here. This is what I do in whatever quarantine is now and also during school for writing. In short, here are some suggestions from a student who can't help but write while they're in college. Hope you enjoy. So first, I like to start off my school day with breakfast and then I sit at my desk with some coffee as I prepare for the long morning. Then I look over my planner and kind of brief myself over everything I have going on that day. Then I open up my writing prompt journal called Q&A a day for writers and just write whatever the prompt tells me to. As you can see, sometimes I've written short entries because I was uninspired or I went off on a tangent, whatever was in my head. I would like to go through those and find some gems to edit, but maybe over summer break, if I even have time. Right, fellow college students? After I've written my prompt, I start school. Currently, I'm studying for finals, which is this week, so will leave me to that. Wish me luck. All right, it's later in the day, around 4, 4.30, and now is the time where I actually work on any writing projects I have. Mind you, I'm usually doing writing throughout the day, that sort of counts since it adds to my practice, if you will, so any essays, assignments, and whatnot are furthering my progress as a writer, or at least that's the way I like to think about it. I'll have my second cup of coffee because you can't write without it, and I'll start my writing projects. I try to keep a journal at my side so I can jot any relevant details that I can add to a different chapter later, whether it pertains to a character, a place, a concept, maybe it's symbolism. One of my summer projects will be going through the journal and seeing where I've added details or question plot points. Right now, I'm editing the third book in my unpublished series. I would like to self-publish since I would have more full control over what I would do, but I also still want to pay for a professional editor. They do cost money, but for those of you wondering, if any of you, I thankfully won't be releasing any books that aren't professionally edited, but I work on it for an hour and then it's back to school or writing a script for one of these videos or editing a video. Oh, they're a different angle. So I just wanted to talk about some of the drawbacks and advantages that I, as a student, have during school. So being that I am in school, I don't get to write every day. Sometimes I feel uninspired or I just don't feel like writing one day which thankfully has not stopped me as much as it's used to stop me. And that was not fun because I'm a writer and I love writing. And if I don't write that, I feel like an incomplete person. I remember like going days without writing because I was just uninspired and it was not helping me grow at all. So habits have definitely helped me maintain my inspiration. But if I'm not feeling it on one day, maybe I'll switch around my routine by outlining a certain idea for another book or going to write a different draft of a book or maybe I'll just start brainstorming ideas. Maybe I'll write a few poems. Video came out last Tuesday if you want to watch it. Would it be over there or it be over here? It should be over here, right? Yeah. Go watch it. My mind has already been through a lot so you can't blame me. Um, I've been in school so lots of stuff going on in there already. Even though I get tired of writing one thing, it allows me to branch out my writing and write different things. So that is an advantage of getting bored. Also, I have my subconscious to think about, which helps me stimulate even more ideas. So the novel I'm editing right now, which is the third book in um, a series that I'm writing. The semester I drafted that novel, I could definitely tell, now that I'm editing it, which is my current project, uh, I could definitely tell the days when I was worn out and I wasn't feeling 
like writing at all. I was definitely very unmotivated and some of my writing was very boring and I just wanted to get through like the next scene to get to the really good scene that I wanted to write. But yeah, some of those really good scenes left me really emotionally drained because they're characters that I love, but it's sad. <laughs> Lots of tragedy. I should warn you if any of you ever read my books that I don't know how to write romance so if I ever feel like I want to like bring two characters together that I will just kill them off. So yeah if you I, you can even consider that as uh, that a spoiler. But that's why I go back that's why we all have to go back and edit our structure and our sentences so that they sound and look better. And now we're gonna go switch over to the Miss Introvert that is in the other angle. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, bye. But yeah, that is what my writing routine consists of and I hope you all enjoyed. This is just my take on the subject. There are plenty of other ways to look at this concept. I know there are a lot of people who have really cool writing routines and mine was very small because of school, but there are plenty of other ways to look at this concept and you can modify my advice however you like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like and share this video to help grow our introverted writing community. Comment down below what you love about being a writer, an introvert, or even a fan of a certain fandom. I would love to start a discussion or a rant in the comment section. Well, that's all for now, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, check out my blog, and find the writing help you need on my Fiverr account. All the links will be in the description below. And stay basic. Okay, bye!